Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday's Daily Prayers. I hope that uh, you're well. Um, gosh, end of the week already. Um, days seem to be flying in. Um, this Sunday, we, uh, of course, um, have our service as normal at 10.30 in the community centre, 11 o'clock on uh, YouTube and on the phones. Um, but before that, we've got our service in Stockett Grange. So that'll be a communion service. If you can come along to that, please do. Um, I, I always appreciate being there. Um, it's a great uh, service, excuse me, service to be part of. If you are coming to the community centre service, then um, a few things to say about that. One is um, Sharon is going to be t giving us an update on the cafe and her work there. Um, it's going to be well worth listening to. We're going to take a, our offering is going to go to um, Seafine, uh, who support the cafe and, and, of course, do a lot of other great work around um, Aberdeen or based around food. Um, and then after, uh, we're going to have some food. We're going to have some uh, uh, rolls and soup. It's all be provided um, lunch after the service. And that will then lead us into a little bit of a church meeting, uh, a church conversation, discussion uh, about where we're going, what we're doing, what's going on with us. Um, so that's all great, uh, really. So do please come along uh, to all of that if you can. But for today, we're here now to pray, listen for God's word. So let's just take a few moments of quiet before we begin. Peace of Christ be with us all. We say together, we have been given new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Awake, O harp and lyre, I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Today's psalm is um, psalm number 16. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will pour out their libations of blood and take up their, or I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Because you will not abandon me to the grave nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. Say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And in our readings through the Gospel of Mark, we've reached uh, chapter 16, verses 1 to 20. We're, in fact, bringing the Gospel of Mark to its conclusion now. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, 
Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white robes sitting at the, on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You're looking for Jesus, the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he's going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. And Jesus rose early on the first day of the week. He appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that Jesus was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe it. Afterwards, Jesus appeared in a different form to two of them while they were walking in the country. These returned and reported it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe that who, those who had seen him after he had risen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison it will not hurt them at all, and they will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Amen. This is the word of God. So we say the prayer on the sheets before a time of quiet for our own prayers and contemplations. Eternal God, we praise you that you raised Jesus from the dead and that his resurrection glory has dawned upon us and brought us into new life. We rejoice that the grave could not hold him and that he has conquered death risen to rule over all the powers of this earth. We praise you that he summons us to follow him with joy and gladness. By your spirit, lift us from doubt and despair and set our feet on Christ's holy way, that our lives may be signs of his life and that all we are may show forth his love. We pray in silence. We continue together. Risen, reigning Christ, in you past, present and future are brought together in one great hope. Renew our faith in you so that the past will not hinder us, the present not overwhelm us, nor the future frighten us. You have brought us this far. Continue to lead us until our hope is fulfilled. And we join all God's people in never-ending praise for your name's sake. Amen. As Christ burst forth from the tomb, may new life burst forth from us and show itself in acts of love and healing to our hurting world. And may that same Christ who lives forever and is the source of our new life keep our hearts rejoicing and grant us peace this day and always. 
Amen. May the God of peace, who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, make us perfect in all goodness so that we may do his will. And may he create in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us today, folks. I just was struck again by the wonder of the fact that Christ is alive today, that this is the day that the Lord has made, that this is the day in which Christ is alive, and, and we can, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I wonder what difference it makes to you that Jesus is alive. Uh, uh, what hope does it bring to you? How will it change the way that you approach the world, the difficulties around you? How will it change the way that you live your life? Jesus is alive today. And I think that Psalm that we read, Psalm, what was it, Psalm 16, is true about each one of us because Jesus is alive. We can say it because Jesus is alive, whatever circumstances we're in. So uh, go back and read Psalm 16 uh, and, and, and make it your own. Not because necessarily all is great in your life, but because Jesus is alive and rules over all. Uh, go in peace. Go knowing that God goes with you. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.